Hi, I'm Mark McPherson. This is a brief video to accompany my written material on how to give a good apology. And yes, I agree with you. We really shouldn't have to tell people how to give a good apology. But the simple reality is some people simply don't do a good job of it. So here goes. I think there's three parts and that's it. Three parts. The first part is make sure the person knows what you're talking about. Now most of the time this will be obvious but sometimes it's not. So make sure they know what you're talking about and simply use facts. Number two. Admit what you did was wrong. Admit that it was unacceptable, hurtful, rude, whatever it happens to be. The third thing to do is actually apologise. I'm surprised at how many people give an apology and they don't actually apologise. So here's just one quick example. Susan, yesterday at the staff meeting you got up to speak about such and such and then I said blah blah blah. That's the facts. That's it. Not something like, yesterday, Susan, you got up to talk at the staff meeting about such and such, and oh, it's a topic I really don't like, and oh, it got under my skin. Stop it. Simply the facts. Yesterday, Susan, at the staff meeting, you got up to say such and such. I said blah, blah, blah. It was rude. It was inconsiderate. It was unacceptable, whatever it happens to be. Admit you did something wrong. I was way out of line. I sincerely apologise for my behaviour. I am sorry for what I said. It's those three parts. Now, here's some extra things which you can think about. And I've seen these things written down in various places and they are something you might like to consider adding. I'm going to look at my notes down here, so I apologise for that. Uh, two things. One is that sometimes uh, people suggest you can make amends for what you've done wrong. Sometimes you can, so just give that a bit of uh, thought. Another thing uh, that sometimes people suggest saying is to say it will never happen again. Well, it should never happen again, that's for sure. So it's not necessary, I think, to say that, but sometimes it might be, so I'll leave that for you to consider. Now, here's three things that people sometimes suggest adding to an apology, and I don't recommend them, but you be the judge. Here goes. First one, tell people that how bad you feel. I feel really bad for what I did. Well, maybe you do and maybe you should, but it's not always something that the person being apologised to wants to hear. Another thing, asking for forgiveness. Oh, will you please forgive me? When someone's feeling a bit delicate because you have wronged them, asking for forgiveness can be a tricky thing to do and not a wise thing to do. And the third thing that I sometimes see people suggest is offer an excuse for your behaviour. Well, you need to choose your timing very, very carefully for that sort of uh, uh, thing. So there's uh, the three parts, two things you might consider, three things I don't recommend. Let's leave it at that. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, please look after yourselves, look after your friends and family, and I do hope to chat to you soon. All the very best.